Our next guest, whoo, excited to welcome him, and a lot of you are on his team, if you will. Well, he first made a mark on Vampire Diaries some 10 years ago. And since then, his popularity has continued to rise. He is currently starring in the award-winning and critically acclaimed HBO series Insecure. Take a look. That's him, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, he actually came down here for this? Um... He actually moved back a minute ago. To be closer to his girl and the baby? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Kendrick Sam oh, look at that look. I see you shaking your head. Kendrick <laughs> Samson, welcome back to the show. My man, now, why are you reacting that way to that clip? You were shaking your head. What was going through your mind watching that? You know, it's the tension. You know, you, I've been in situations like that before where you're just like, what? trying to put the puzzle pieces together something don't add up right <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> well that is good to hear now you're like a lot of people what, what would you say the split is right now because everybody's waiting to see who she's going to choose it's team nathan <sighs> team lawrence now what would you say the popularity split is if there was a vote what would your character actually get i don't you know it it fluctuates every single episode right now I think it's it's pretty pretty even. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Usually, I'm, I, I give it to the Lawrence Hive because huh? they've just been around longer. Huh? You know, they're deeply rooted. <laughs> uh, starting with Sharonis on the show, it, who calls himself the president. Um, but but yeah, I don't. I, I'm not. It's hard to tell right now. But I, I've got a lot of support. There's a lot of support. Well, I don't. Nathan. <laughs> I have to make sure I separate these characters. Nathan has a lot of support right now. All right, Kendrick, in addition to the season finale, there is also a documentary about the making of this show, and we've seen the trailer. There are a lot of tears shed uh, among cast members. What, what was it about this show that made it so special? I think it was the, the time that it came in after Oscar So White and everybody. This was an opportunity to really showcase our our um our narratives right and and have some autonomy over that which is is very rare in this industry for black folks and and it the way that isa and the team and prentice and everyone went about it making sure that we were investing in south la and places that normally people shoot other where uh, other places for like inglewood and making sure we're investing in the community and it was just such a special place where people who normally um, are deemed unqualified or whatever because of the color of their skin um, and aren't afforded the same opportunities, um, got to thrive and, and really uh, showcase who they are and what they can do. And now you see Natasha with overall deals and, and, and books and all this. And everybody, everybody on the show has a book, right? Everybody <laughs> on the show has a book. Everybody's producing. Um, and then on top of that, we have a strong investment in the community and, and, and each other. Um, and it's, it's been very special, super special. Well, you talk about how special it is. And just kind of on that note, Kendrick, I read what you wrote, that, that letter to your younger self that was, I think it was LA Times where it was uh, publicized. But you talked about your struggles, like living in your car for a little while, uh, staying with grandma and the friends and the support that you had. Uh, but you knew your purpose and you, you wrote it out. And now here you are on this hit show and like you said so many other things have come your way you know what button it up and you put it in some kind of context and perspective of what it's it means and what this show has meant to you in your life and that purpose it's a continuation of you know black people invested in me i got i got to la with nothing and yeah I, you know i got kicked out of the first place i was in i was living out of my car and um and it was black women that wrapped themselves around me. I always shout them out, Marilyn Bobian and Fatmata Kamara and um, Mama, right? <laughs> and Mama, <laughs> who, you know, is coming up on her, her passing, her anniversary of her passing from COVID last year. Um, and she wrapped her arms around me, made sure that I uh, was introduced to black men that could mentor me and I got, you know, connected with Troy Rowland and Richard Lyons and Dustin Felder. And more than anything, I learned that to build a community based on good values and um, and that it has to be rooted in liberation because all they were doing was making sure that I was more liberated than them, right? That, that whatever resources they had were available to me and that I could eat, 
I would I would drive around with Tupperware in my car <laughs> and, and they would fill it up, um, you know, and, and make sure that I was fed. And that's what real community is. That's what real safety is. They fostered an environment where I could grow and I'm indebted to them forever. That was beautiful. Kendrick <laughs> Sampson, wow, Faith Friday. <laughs> I think that's uh, where we are with you. No, that was amazing. Thank you for that. We needed to hear that. And uh, congratulations on all of your success. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Want to remind everyone the season finale and the documentary for Insecure, The End, both start streaming December 26th on HBO. We'll see you down the road, Kendrick. Congrats, man. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.